testing out my setup for a solar projector using just a refractor telescope to project the sun's image onto some other surface. Right now, it's uh, mid-January. We've got the Celestron Omni XLT AZ-102. This is a 660 millimeter focal length refractor. We've got the aperture mask on it. This is a two inch aperture mask. And you can see that if we want to, we could open this all the way up to a four inch or the 102 millimeter. Right now I'm testing out a few things. I've measured the distance from the eyepiece to my garage door there is right at five feet, 60 inches. So we have five feet of distance to that garage door. I'm testing some things. One thing I know for sure is you need a shadow to project into. You can't, you, I wasn't able to get a bright enough image to project directly into the sunlight on the driveway. So I found if I project onto my garage wall there, that white sheet of paper will show in a second, or into this box, which might be a nice portable solution. Let's do a little bit of retargeting here. You can see we can get a good visible image. Um, at five feet distance from the eyepiece to the projection surface, that gives us about a 14 inch diameter circle. And that is using a 25 millimeter eyepiece. Yeah, 25 millimeter plossel is what I have in here. So should be a pretty standard kit eyepiece. You don't have to use something expensive. Uh, everybody recommends taking all the plastic and seeing if it's a non-cemented eyepiece. But it looks like it works. I think this can be a basic setup for Solar Eclipse Day. It looks like I'm going to recommend stopping down your telescope to minimize the heat. So two inches of aperture gives what I would say sufficiently bright image. I might even try going less aperture. I might try making some uh, smaller aperture masks to really minimize my heat. You can see the clouds crossing in front of the sun right now. I can see some sunspots. It's uh, overall this is going to be very easy to see for a large group of people. So I think this will be really nice to watch during the solar eclipse. I'm going to pause the video and we're going to project it onto a white screen here. Okay, I've got the box out of the way. I'm projecting onto a white screen that's in the shade. Um, I can see there's definitely some clouds covering the sun a little bit, so it's less bright. But what I'm going to show is the brightness improvement when I remove the aperture mask. So if you're brave enough and you want to run your scope at full power, you can definitely pick up some brightness on the projected image. I'll put the mask back on. So that's my hand in front of the mask. Two inches of aperture, four inches of aperture. Two inches of aperture. It's visible and it'll work if you can handle the heat. Four inches of aperture gives you a brighter image. I'm going to try to make sure that I minimize any risk to my telescope and optics so i'm going to be on the dim side and i think an image you know four to five feet away from the eyepiece something 10 inches to 14 inches should be nice and visible by lots of people that way you don't have to be crowded around a single telescope <laughs> 